What's up, YouTube? Rubik Zord 05 doing a Thunderstorms Megazord video. I know I still don't have a stupid tripod, so I'm sorry about the very bad views again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transform the Thunderstorms and what auxiliary zords you can add onto him. Okay, first of all, you take your Triceratops. You fold up his legs. He's kind of done. Then you take your pterodactyl. You fold her wings in. Like that. Put her head down. And take off the helmet. And you just get it so it looks like this. In some way, shape, or form, you can do it. It bends either way. And you fold her wings in, so they're like that, so there's a hole. Okay, for the T Thunder for the T Rex, you disconnect him from the rest of his body. You do that with his tail. You take him. I just like to do that because I think it's easier. You lift it up. You turn it. You pull out the head. You push it in. So he latches on. And you push the head down until it snaps. Close the helmet. And to the legs. You fold the arms up. Then you take, lift up these, fold them back. And they connect onto the side of his legs. And you completely do a 180 with the legs. Then you bring the it over. Then you connect the T-Rex down again back onto his body. I just turned my computer on. Then you just take the Triceratops, hook it up, push pterodactyl up. Right, let me get my computer back on standby. Then you put, there's an area right here where you push where the helmet would be on her until you hear it snap. Then there are two little notches up at holes next to T-Rex where you push part of her wings in. That little hole is where you push the little thing in the wing in. Sorry, I know this is horrible camera view. I need to get the tripod. Okay, then you take the helmet and I missed. And you put it on and it is complete as the Thundersaurus Megazord. And then I'm gonna add the Ankylo. Zordon. And then, uh, let me think of a second what I gotta do here. Okay. Okay, I was just trying to remember what sides each part of the Megazord goes on. And then you take off. Well, depending on what you're gonna do. Me and Kylo. He goes on. Let me think. This side. So you take off the triceratops. For the and Kylo. You fold his little legs in three clicks. One, two, three. Fold his big legs up two clicks. And then you connect him on. And there, when you have him on and you turn on the drill, the arm will rotate. And so is the Enkylo completely. There's that, the Enkylo. I'm going to do the cellophane.
just like in my earlier video, you fold it up like you would into that rolling mode, except you don't bring out the little wheel. You hook it on, right? Yeah. And then when you turn it on, you gotta make sure you're doing it the right way, or it will jam up. And I have to say, it does hurt. Ow. Let me get it unlocked. See, it's... Oh, no, it's not locked. Never mind. And you add the triceratops back on. Take off that part of the arm. Okay. See, I took off the arm for the parasect. Fold its arms up. You fold its legs in. Then here's the tricky part. You bend its head down and you turn it until it like is looking at you. Then I I'm sorry if this falls off. It is very loose. You turn on and it does like a trophy action. the dimension on. You fold its legs up. One, two. Bend its head. Well, if you don't even have it yet. Bend its head down. And it kind of opens up. And I know there's a lot of discrepancy if when you put, put it on, if it goes on this way or it goes on the other on this way. The correct show way is like this. I've done a lot of research into that. Okay, then when you have the Dimetrodon on, it's kind of fast, but uh, the wheel is spinning, if you can see it. And then here's a little extra thing. I'm going to move the d this here. Can you see it? Yeah. You lift up the Dimetrodon a little bit, and you bend it, two clicks, ah, oh, just take it off. Okay, you have it like this, you lift it up, you turn this tail two clicks, put it back, whoop, other way. It kind of just stays up like that, and you hook it back onto the Megazord, and then when you turn it on, it also does a sideways slice. Okay, now I'm going to show you the Brachiozoid. Okay, this thing's head is very hard to get off. I still haven't learned it all yet. You kind of gotta lift up and pull out. Some, it does seem like you're breaking it. I turned my computer back on. Let me get it back on standby. Okay, should be turned off. Once you have it off like this, you do a three six uh one a one eighty. Then uh you just leave it like this. You flip it upside down. You could have it facing forward if you want. You grab a missile out of the brachiosaur. You put it in the mouth of the brachio. And you hook it on to the thunder source. And then its missile does fire. And if you could see that, I just missed the camera. And that is the review on the Thundersaurus Megazord. Thanks for watching.